API stands for Application Programming Interface, and it allows web-based software applications to essentially talk to one another. For example, you might visit a restaurant's website to check its location, and the location is displayed on Google Maps. This is made possible because the restaurant's website has an API that talks to the Google Maps API. If not, the restaurant might have to create its own mapping system. Traditionally, APIs have been used by software developers to make it a lot easier to create new capabilities in their own software or to allow other people to write to that software using a really clearly defined set of methods to communicate between different types of software. So API can be defined as a type of mini standard that's used to program software. Ultimately, APIs make it easier and faster for software developers to leverage other technologies or applications or even entire platforms when they're building their own applications. Now, by shielding developers and users from all of the complexity of the underlying code and giving developers and users access to what they really want, the capabilities of the technology, this allows people to get value from all sorts of interconnected technology. Well, APIs are essentially the connectors between software, applications, and platforms. They're the nuts and bolts that hold together all sorts of modern digital capabilities like software applications, even though those applications might come from different types of companies who haven't really originally envisioned that their two software applications would be working together. In fact, with APIs, you don't have to envision that future. APIs can allow anyone to develop capabilities and to connect to a platform that you might have developed as long as they use the API in the way that the owner or the developer has prescribed. Now, APIs can be private for internal company use only, for partners used by approved third parties, or public where anyone can use a set of APIs. Most of us would have searched for a hotel room at some point in time from an online travel booking site like Agoda or Trivago. On the travel booking site, you can select the city you wish to stay in, check in and check out dates, number of guests, the number of rooms, and click search. The travel site uses an API to talk to all of those various hotels. APIs simultaneously aggregate the information from those different hotels, and then it displays the available rooms that meet your criteria on its website. And this can all happen with, within seconds because the API acts like a messenger that runs back and forth between applications and databases. Now we're also used to seeing login with Facebook or login with Google on a lot of different websites and applications. And this is another example of APIs of different applications talking to and integrating with each other. It, it saves consumers so much time uh, when you compare it to creating a new account. And it saves the company from having to create a system, a brand new system, from scratch. In the area of social media, APIs also provide a way to share information across different platforms. When you're seamlessly sharing your photos onto Twitter from Instagram, or when you're sharing your song choices from Spotify onto Facebook and letting all your friends know what you're listening to, you can thank an API for that. Netflix is a great example of how APIs can be leveraged across platforms. Netflix makes movies and TV content available through a variety of devices from iPhones to PlayStations to many smart TVs and, and other devices. The company also makes available a lot of other information and content to many sites. That includes things like its entire catalog, recommendations, ratings. All of this content makes its way to sites and devices outside of Netflix through the magic of APIs and all without the heavy coding that would have been required in the bad old days. Simply connect and answer some basic questions around configuration, security, and privacy, and you're done.
With all of this interconnectedness, APIs open up great opportunities for businesses that want to plug and play with technologies to provide a seamless and integrated customer experience across a range of complementary products and services. Uh, in the example of travel insurance, companies could develop APIs to integrate with online travel sites, websites of, of airlines, digital payment applications, or even applications to monitor traffic condi conditions like Google Maps so that customers could estimate their travel time to the airport. Now, it used to be that APIs were largely limited to highly technical domains, like the world of software developers. Today, though, APIs have become a significant engine of business growth for organizations of all types and sizes. APIs allow businesses and organizations to tap into the infinite possibilities of ecosystems of technologies and to create brand new businesses or forge very profitable partnerships and open up new paths for innovation and growth. APIs can connect a company's internal systems relatively simply. That gives them uh, the ability to access data even when it's buried deep inside of legacy IT systems. And they can do it quickly and repeatedly. This allows IT to simplify and automate tasks and really speed up the development process. Well, APIs are a great example of a technological innovation that can bring two standalone products or services or pieces of software together into an ecosystem to create entirely new types of capabilities and value in the marketplace. It's been said that if a business is not creating APIs and making those available today, that would be the equivalent of not having a website back in the 1990s. APIs are becoming an absolute necessity in order to allow other companies and, and users to take full advantage of digital capabilities that an organization might be developing.